All right, awesome. So for those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Raquel, um, chairwoman in this space, super duper excited. I've been in for over three years, man. And um, I just wanna share some sauce with you guys, right? Of course, through three years I've been in this space, I've been able to develop a lot. You know, you cannot obtain success without going through failures and without learning a lot of lessons. So I've been able to actually compose this training for you guys and I'm extremely excited to share this very valuable sauce with y'all, right? Okay, so one thing about me is I'm gonna make sure that I have a lot of structure, maybe a little presentation here and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys, you know, the title of this call is Prospecting 101. I'm sorry, this table is a little shaky, right? Prospecting 101. So as you guys know, what we do in this space is we come in, we tap into an educational platform that allows us to profit off of the largest financial market in the world. And we can also tap into multiple streams of income. And one of those uh, income streams is residual income. And you get residual income by actually helping others, right? By spreading the wealth and knowledge with other people in this world. It is a global market, global opportunity. I'm super excited, right? Okay, now prospecting 101. This information, this sauce I'm gonna share with you guys today has been able to allow me to get anywhere from one to three people a week enrolled into my business personally within the uh, a week within the last two months, okay? So if you wanna create momentum in your business, it starts with you. So if at any point during this, um, during this presentation, you feel like you learned something that's really saucy or game changing, make sure you drop some spaghetti emojis in the chat. I actually feed off of energy. That's like my love language. So drop some spaghetti emojis in the chat so I know you're receiving sauce, okay? All right, <laughs> okay. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. All right. All right, let's get it. All right, so this is a very beginner friendly approach to prospecting. Now, shout out to Donovan. Uh, the other day, he actually did a presentation on inviting. That was very much warm, hot market. This is going to be very cold market, um, social media networks, all that good stuff, right? Okay, so. Very beginner friendly approach to prospecting. Make sure you guys are taking notes, okay? All right, so first of all, I want you guys to understand, you know, you cannot care about the opinions of those who don't pay your bills, who you wouldn't trade a day with or a paycheck with, okay? That's, that's I always tell everybody that comes to my, into my business. You cannot care about those opinions. If you wanna get anywhere in life, you cannot. You wanna trade a day or a paycheck with them, okay? All right, now, in order to properly do this, you do have to obtain some characteristics, right? Okay, first of all, you wanna make sure you have a personable personality. What does this mean? You wanna make sure that you are pleasant, friendly, and you get along well with people, okay? If you feel like you're more of an introvert or it's hard for you to talk to people, you know, you have to maybe start talking to yourself in the mirror, start socializing a little bit, but for me personally, I used to be super shy and introverted. I know no one would probably expect that. My mom used to say that she would force me to go up to the, to the, uh, to the counters at restaurants to ask for like condiments, because she, she said I would start crying. I used to be so shy. But now I'm so confident. Now I want you guys to understand that what increases your confidence is your knowledge. And you get knowledge through education. So if you, at any point you feel like you're not confident enough in this business, you need to go and educate yourself more so you can increase your confidence, okay? So, next, confidence and comfortability. People are attracted to people who seem like they know what they're talking about, okay? So, it's the state of being certain about something like, yes, I do invest, I do trade on the largest financial market in the world, I have been able to obtain massive results. It doesn't matter whether you made $2, $20, $200, it works, okay? And you see people, getting so many results throughout the whole entire day, every single day, right? So you know it works. Having good emotional intelligence, right? So emotional intel intelligence is the ability to recognize and adapt to people's emotions, all right? So to be able to inspire and influence people to take action. And then social intelligence is knowing when to talk or listen and knowing, um, knowing what to say or what to do. 
So understand that when you actually possess all these characteristics, you will be able to um, very effortlessly talk to whoever it is, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to talk to people in person and also how to talk to people through social media platforms, okay? Um, cool. All right, next. You want to understand first that everybody needs money. I know sometimes people come into business and they say, oh, you know, they hesitate to want to tell anyone. They feel like it's not for anybody. Understand that money nowadays is almost like oxygen. You need it for survival. Would you guys agree? Let me get some sevens in the chat if you would agree that everybody needs money, okay? Everybody wants money. A lot of people just don't know how to obtain money, okay? A lot of people just think, you know, working is the only way to obtain money, okay? But everybody needs money. Someone, someone said I'm going too fast. I do talk very fast, especially when I'm excited about something. So I'm gonna try to slow it down a bit. I do have about 17 slides. I'm gonna get through everything. Okay, so you have to understand that everybody should be exposed to this information. It doesn't matter how poor, how rich, it doesn't matter who they are, okay? The product, <laughs> um, always prospect with an open mind and understand that your product is education and tools that can produce money. Everybody needs money, everybody wants money, and it is a tool that can solve most problems that people have. Okay, so you want to make sure that when you're prospecting, you keep track and write down all your prospects and potential prospects. I want you guys to understand that the money is in the follow up. Okay, if you're not following up with people, um, you know, sometimes you lose track of those prospects, and sometimes prospects want to see that you're more interested in them, in them than they are in you, okay? So you want to make sure that you're following up with them. Because sometimes people are just very afraid or scared to reach out, okay? Anybody who you see in person is also considered a potential prospect, okay? Anybody, absolutely anybody. It doesn't matter if it's Barack Obama. It doesn't matter if they're the wealthiest person. I actually, funny story is... Um, and I know this is super off track, but I want, I want you guys to understand this, right? Because I know sometimes we're scared to tell wealthy people about this opportunity. But the wealthiest people actually are excited about, to hear about this. So I actually bought a course um, for Grant Cardone's Real Estate Summit, okay, like a month or two ago. And I remember one of his, one of the people that work in his office, they ended up calling me because they were like, hey, we wanna offer you an extra ticket. We see that you just bought one ticket. And we wanna know if you wanna bring anyone uh, you know, along with you. Tickets were expensive. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, sure. And um, he was like, so what do you do for a living? And then I told him what I do. He was like, yo, this is so interesting. And he was like, I actually have heard of people doing this before, but none of the people I've spoken to sound as confident and as passionate as you do. So when you come down here to Miami for the summit, I would love to take you to lunch and I would love for you to share with me what this is about. I was like, let me find out that someone who works in Grant Cardone's office wants to know what this is about. So I want you guys to understand that anybody wants to hear about this information, you just wanna make sure that you have the right intentions and that you expose them the right way, okay? All right, cool. Remember, drop some spaghetti, some spaghetti emojis in the chat when you hear some sauce, right? Okay, now, a no is another person closer to a yes. Okay, I want you guys to understand that you're gonna get a lot of no's. You're probably gonna get more no's than yeses, but that's why only that's why a one percent exists. Okay, if it was reversed, everybody would be you know rich, right? Just to keep it real with y'all. But that's why a one percent exists because only a select few of people you know are willing to do what it takes. So who are the easiest people to prospect? Well, think about it. Who has money? Who are people you've supported in the past? Because if you've supported a friend in the past, let's say, ladies, you supported your friend's lash line, hairline, clothing line, shoe line, whatever it was, you should be comfortable enough to receive some support from them in return because you've supported them, right? Just be so confident in what you have. Um, who's open-minded? I didn't have money when I started. I didn't have a business when I started. But one thing about me, I was so open-minded, right? And who's a business owner? Right? Business owners, a lot of times people own businesses, but they don't have enough capital to run their business. This opportunity 
is a vehicle to get that capital so that you can fund other things, right? No one says I want to be a Forex trader or a digital entrepreneur, but this opportunity is able to give you that wealth, that capital, okay? All right. Now, one thing I want to emphasize, the sauce I'm going to give you guys today is going to work hand in hand with your social media profiles, okay? If you don't have social media, you need to make some, right? You need to make some social media profiles, right? So your social media pages are your digital business cards, okay? And that's where you give your prospects the impression that you really are about what you say you are and do. Imagine if I told someone, hey, I'm a private chef and I do catering, and they go on my Instagram and I have pictures of photography. They're gonna be like, what? This doesn't even correlate, right? So when you see someone out in person and you're telling them that you know, you're about your money, you're about your business, and you're about your assets, and they go on your page and you have absolutely nothing that correlates with that, they're not gonna have a lot of confidence in you, okay? So understand you wanna treat your social media profiles like your digital business cards, okay? So when people, per, uh, personally, when people click on my um, social media, and, and I'll be honest with y'all, like, I'm no social media guru, none of that. Like, my highlights, the little things, I'm not really good at all that, but I know that when people click on my social media, they can see, oh, this girl, is a boss lady and she loves to travel and she's about her money. I know that they can see that when they click on my profile because that's what happens every single time. When I meet someone out in person, they're like, oh yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter if I have sweats on. When they go and click on my profile, they're like, oh wow, this is you. Someone's actually said this on a call. One of the chairmen said this on a call. I thought it was Kalia or something the other day. If I got it wrong, if it wasn't Kalia, I'm sorry. But it was someone that said it the other day on a, on a, on a call and I was like, that makes a lot of sense, okay? All right. Dang, my picture didn't upload. Okay, so this is the in-person approach. This was supposed to be a picture of a family at a restaurant with a server. Okay, the whole goal in person, right? Like I said, this is a more beginner-friendly approach, okay? You're not gonna go up to someone and say, hey, are you looking to expand your, um, your streams of income? None of that, okay? This is simply, the goal is to make people comfortable and open to you. And the ultimate goal is to exchange your contact info. Okay, that's the ultimate goal. Once you get home, once you build rapport with them, then you're gonna be able to you know, give them your little invite pitch, all that stuff. The last thing you wanna do is come off as a salesperson. So I see that all the time. It's like, man, I went up to them and said this, and you know, they, they kind of brushed me off. If you go up to someone, you're like, hey, how are you? You know, I'm an investor and I want to show you you can make money from your phone. A lot of times people are going to be, that's kind of like outdated. Let me, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Sometimes that's a little old. A lot of people have probably already heard it, right? So you want to try a different ap approach. If you come up to them and say, hey, are you looking to diversify your income streams? It might work, but like I said, let's try a different approach, especially if you are a beginner, okay? So. You want to be, be tactical. This has worked for me on multiple occasions, okay? So first thing, you want to compliment someone, okay? There's different tactics. So um, I'll, I'll give you guys an example of when I did this. A server at a restaurant, I always do this. Okay, and of course you wanna be genuine, right? I'm not asking you guys to be fake. I'm very genuine and I am a people person. So when I'm at a restaurant, I'm excited about my food. And if the service is great, I'm gonna let them know. I'm gonna tip them extra well, right? So you wanna give people a polite expression of praise or admiration. Or if you feel like I really have nothing to compliment them on, say something relatable. Find something relatable or something to compliment. So if it's a server at a restaurant, you know, hey, oh my goodness, um, I really appreciate your service, your smile, you know, I, the food is delicious, by the way. Now, this is really my personality. So I cannot teach my personality, I can't pass down my personality, but I promise on everything, that is my personality. I'm very um, extroverted when, when I'm excited about something, okay? The next thing you can do is crack a joke. Make them laugh and have them warm up to you or somehow add value to them. Now, I promise you, one of these two is going to help you 
get them comfortable and build rapport with you. That's the whole goal, right? Instead of you just randomly walking up to someone saying, hey, how are you? I'm an investor and do you want to diversify your income streams? They're gonna be like, girl, I don't even know you, right? But if you actually take the time to build some rapport and let them warm up to you, that's different, right? They're gonna, they're gonna be able to remember you. So um, let's say, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys an example of when this worked. I was actually in line for Chipotle one day and I remember the guy was like, okay, do you want a bowl or a burrito? I was like, a bowl. And then um, he's like, How much, okay, do you want white rice or brown rice? I was like, can I get half a scoop of white rice? I was like, can I get half a scoop of black beans, half a scoop of chicken? And I was like, man, I'm so hungry. That's just me, that's just my personality. He's like, how are you hungry, but you're ordering half a scoop of everything? I was like, ah, oh, man. I was like, you know, I'm just trying to watch my figure, right? I wasn't even trying to be funny, but he found it funny, right? So when I got to the end of the line, this was at a college campus, he was like, do you have, a, uh, do you have your student ID? I was like, what for? He was like, to get a discount. I was like, dang. Um, he's like, are you a student? I was like, no, but I can be one if you need me to be one. And then he started laughing. Now, just those little interactions had him laughing, okay? And like I said, that's just my personality. So. He was like, ha ha, okay, I'll just give you the discount just cuz. And I was like, ah, that's so nice to you. And I was like, um, how long have you been working here for? Are you a student here? He's like, um, yeah, yeah, I am a student. No, he's actually like, no, I'm not a student. I was like, bro, I actually wanna share something with you. I think you would really, really love it. Now, because I had talked to him throughout the whole entire line while he was building my bowl, he was like, okay, um, I was like, do you have an Instagram? He's like, yeah, 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 I do. I don't, I barely use it. And he pulled his phone out and we exchanged contact information. Now I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Ladies, ladies, it's, it's easy for us, okay? Guys, I'm not sure I'm not a guy, but guys, ladies, if you are not taking advantage of the fact that you are a girl, you got a nice smile, put a little bit of makeup on when you go out of the house, that's it. <laughs> It's, it, that's it, right? Okay, now, what do I mean when I say add value? <laughs> when I say add value, um, you, know, you know, still have your personable personality. Um, let's say I'm talking to a server. Man, I love your service. I actually used to be a server. You ever heard of the restaurant Silverado? It's, it's over there by uh, Annandale. No, you've never been there? Oh man, the fajitos are so good. But man, when I used to be a server, I was trying to pay off my student loans, man. I can't even believe it. I actually got into $100,000 of student loan debt. You, you got student loan debt? Yeah, you do? Man, it sucks. But look, I would actually love to share with you what it is that I did, because I was actually able to pay off my student loan debt. And I actually retired myself at, at 23. I know it sounds crazy, but I would love to share with you. And I promise you they're gonna be like, dang, really? Oh, girl, yes, share your contact info with me. It happens every time. Okay, cool, what's your Instagram? All right, bet, right? Go that extra mile instead of you going through the whole process, they served you, then at the end you tip them and you leave your Instagram. I promise you, they're gonna take that receipt and they're not gonna go on your Instagram, right? I've seen that sometimes, like, oh, leave your Instagram written on the, on the, on the receipt. They're not gonna go through it, trust me. I used to be a server, we not gonna go through that. Okay, all right, all right, cool, cool. Oh, dang, is it breaking up bad? Can I get some sevens in the chat if you can hear me? You good? Okay, cool, cool, all right, bet. All right, try to slow down. I know I talk really fast. Like I said, I talk fast when I'm passionate. Okay, so you want to be able to build rapport and, and an impression that allows them to remember you, right? You wanna be a friendly, harmonious relationship. That's what you wanna create. All right, so, oh, dang. <laughs> I actually have these examples right here. So I actually used to be a server. I have to show you what I do. See, when I'm telling you guys, this comes so naturally to me, but when I, I, I try to write it down for you guys. So you're gonna love it. What's your Instagram? Let me follow you. Now, if you feel like you absolutely can't relate to them, you can't compliment them, anything like that, of course, you know, have a conversation with them, but then tell them you are into digital assets and you're all about spreading the knowledge and you would like to see how this would do in their area, right? But like I said, the whole relationship report is way better, okay? So the whole end goal 
is to exchange contact info, social media or phone number. Now, especially if you exchange your social media info with them, what they're gonna do is, they're gonna go on your profile and immediately they're gonna look at it and say, oh wow, oh wow, this is the girl I just met. This is the guy I just met, what? Dang, I wish I would've talked to him more. I'm so glad I have his Instagram now because I'm gonna reach out to them, right? Okay, cool. Next slide. Now what's gonna happen? When you go home, that's when you're gonna take the time, remember this is beginner friendly, you're gonna take the time to reach out to them now, okay? So here's an example. This is actually true, I did this for a Cheesecake Factory one day. Hey Alex, what's going on? Uh, we met earlier at Cheesecake Factory. Okay, I want you guys to, if anything, Pay attention to my voice. If you have to close your eyes and just listen to my voice, listen to the confidence and the personality that I exude through my voice, because that's what's going to matter more than what you say. People are going to notice how genuine you sound over what you say. If you sound like you're reading through a script or you're, you're sounding like a robot, they're gonna be able to tell. So you wanna come up as genuine and as casual as possible, right? So, hey, Alex, what's going on? We met earlier at the Cheesecake Factory. Man, your service was so outstanding, and I really enjoyed the food, man. Those egg rolls were delightful. Thank you so much for giving my family and I a great experience. It was actually my, um, it was actually my dad's birthday, and um, he loved it. But anyways, as I mentioned, I'm really big into financial literacy, just spreading the knowledge. Like, I started investing in digital assets. I'm not sure if you've heard, like, NFTs and stuff, but I'm really getting into this. And, you know, then you have two options. I would love your opinion on how you think this would do in your area because I'm actually not even from there. Or you can say, you know, I really would love to share this information with you. I know how much it can help you. Or um, I'm actually running a live session tonight at 7.30 or tomorrow at 7.30. Would you be available? Would you be down to get on? Right? Boom. Send that voice memo to them. Okay? Now, from your personality, your tone of voice, your confidence, and because they remember you, they're gonna respond and be like, hey, yes, oh my God, yes, I remember you, you shared that with me, yes, of course I'd love to, right? Boom, okay, that's the follow-up. There's so many ways you can do this, of course, you wanna add your own touch, your own personality, all that good stuff. I don't want you guys to take this script and just literally just blurt it out or like, you know, word vomit it, but you know, Get the gist. Okay, now, if you guys understand that, I'm not even into, the, the sauce, the, the real sauce is coming. So if you've got some sauce real, uh, so far, let me get some spaghetti in the, in the chat, right, for, for the sauce, spaghetti sauce. I love saying sauce, okay? Let me get some spaghetti in the chat, and I'm gonna move forward now. This is even saucier, right? If y'all thought, okay, this makes sense. Okay, what I'm about to tell you guys is even saucier. Ooh. This is really exciting, okay? All right. The next approach is called the story viewer's approach. Now, before I move forward, I want you guys to understand that this approach will not work well if you are not following the basic principles of posting every single day. Just saying, right? If you can't even do the bare minimum to do that, I don't know. Right? That's literally the bare minimum. I promise you, in the past three years of me being here, there's never gone a day, there's never gone a day where I haven't posted about my business. Okay? I promise you, all the chairmen and chairwomen you see, there's never been a day where they have not posted about their business. That is probably the bare minimum that you have to do to build this business. Okay? So, if you're not posting consistently, if you're not exposing consistently, I don't know, this might not work. Okay? All right. This is called a story viewer's approach. So people who are watching your stories constantly are interested in what you are about. If you ever go to your stories, right, and I'm, I'm, I'm basically gonna talk to the people who actually follow the blueprint. If you're following the blueprint and you post consistently, yes. You see those people that are constantly watching your stories, right? But they're not in your business or they're not in the business in general. That means they're interested. I promise you they wouldn't keep watching your stories. However, they're probably either too afraid to reach out or they're waiting to see more from you, right? They're waiting to see, is this person really serious about what they're doing? 
Should I actually, you know, go for it? There's someone who I enrolled who brought me over 200 to 300 individuals in my business. It took them eight months to enroll. Because I've been here for three years, okay? So this person, it took them eight months to enroll. When they enrolled on my month eight, they said, I've been watching you for eight months and I'm ready to sign up. Okay, so for anyone who thought this was a from, from night to day process, no, it's, 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 it's a process, right? Okay, but it's totally fine, it's so worth it. Okay, so they're waiting to see more from you. Now I want you guys to look at your stories. Is your story a prime time show or is it prepaid programming, right? Is your story like a keeping up with the Kardashians, like people are trying to see it, or is it a prepaid, pro, prepaid programming where you just have a bunch of screenshots and your TV show plays at 5 a.m. when no one's awake. Okay, let me know, you tell me. Go ahead, look at your story right now. Primetime show or prepaid programming? What is your story? Is your story, you know, uh, uh, just a bunch of screenshots about Forex or do you actually have substance and value to give your followers? Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, understand your content must be purposeful and valuable to attract the right people. So like I said, don't just be posting, you know, Forex screenshots all day. That's old. Everybody sees that, right? What value do you really have to give your followers? Now, this is not a social media training, but, you know, cool. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go through those story viewers, and you're going to reach out to those people who are not in the business. It's, it's kind of obvious to know if someone's in the business or not, okay? If you see that you have a lot of mutual followers with people in the business, nine times out of 10, they're in the business. If they have anything about wealth, inspiration, money in their bio, they're probably in the business. However, if they don't, they're probably not in the business, okay? So when you're doing these reach outs, you must exude. Exude means like, you know, show it. You know, you must uh, display this. Energy, confidence, and personality through your voice. You want to avoid sounding bland, robotic, or scared. People are not going to be attracted to that. Okay, so look through their profile first and find a personal touch you can reference. Make the prospect feel that you are genuine and you're not just reading through a script or trying to sell them something. So it's so easy to click on someone's bio, you know, see do they like food, do they like to travel, do they like sports, do they like fishing. Are they from a certain country, city that you relate to? Whatever it is, that's, that's always the number one thing I do. Why? Because you want them to feel like they're actually special and you're genuinely reaching out to them, right? Which you are, right? We're not just going through a bunch of 100 people a day and you know sending them the same message. You want every single reach out to be genuine, special, and you want it to have an intention, okay? Make sure to add value. What can you educate them on that will make you stand out? I'm gonna give you guys an example of how this works. I even have live examples of people that have enrolled into my business at the very end. So what's some new information they probably have never heard about? So think about things that you've learned in this business that you didn't know before this that the average person doesn't know, right? Financial literacy, as, as a whole in general, right? What can you say that's something that's fin uh, financially literate that the average person doesn't know, right? Where you can literally tell them like, yo, there's a cash flow quadrant, right? You obviously don't want to break down the cash flow quadrant to them in a voice memo, but start thinking about things like that. You know, 60% of the world's population, you know, credit, uh, investments, multiple streams of income, what is passive income, earned income, whatever it is, okay? So here is a real example. Okay, so yes, I know you guys are probably gonna take screenshots, that's totally fine. Okay, I want you guys to understand, this is how I do it, right? So I'm gonna go on my profile. All right, cool, I'm gonna go through my viewers. Usually I scroll to the very bottom. I'm gonna choose a random person. Oh, okay, I see they're not in the business. I'm gonna go, I, I'm, I am going to the next slide, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out what it is that they have on their profile, even if it's private. You can still see their bio. I see this person actually went to the same university I did, and you're going to go ahead and click message, right? Now, that's when you're going to send this message, okay? 
Hey, Brenda, whatever their name is, how are you? Now, if you guys have to close your eyes and just to hear my voice, do so, okay? Hey, Brenda, how are you? My name is Raquel. Look, I know we don't know each other, but I see you've been watching my stories. Maybe they responded to your poll, whatever. And I thought, you know, why not reach out? So I see you're from Texas. Yo, that's awesome. I actually used to live in Texas for a few months. The food is out of this world. I, I loved going to um, that place called Velvet Taco. I love the, the Buffalo Tacos, so good, man. Anyways, I can't wait to move back. But I've been trying to put my friends onto what I've been doing for the past several months. Well, it's, it's honestly been able to help myself and my family so much. You know, I basically started tapping into financial literacy and honestly, if you think about it, we're not taught basic financial things in our standard education system. We're not taught how to build credit, um, write a check, or even just basic things that we really need in life. So once I started to tap into the financial literacy realm, I've been able to really help my family, and I know how much this can help people just like you and I. You know, in a society where people who look just like me are really not supposed to be winning, I think everyone deserves to win and know about stuff like this. So let me know when you have some time to connect and chat. And even if it's not for you, you know, no worries. But I know, I'm sure you know someone who could benefit from this information. So let me know and I'm hoping to hear back from you. Someone said they can't hear. Can you guys hear me? Okay, boom, okay, you can't hear. Okay, boom. Now I know this sounds like a mouthful. I know, I know. I know you're probably looking at this like who in the world has the time? I'm telling you, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. I've done this so many times in the past two months, and I'm telling you every single time, this is the reaction I get. Whoa, hey, Brickell, you know what's crazy? I think I've heard of this before, but everyone that's reached out to me so far, none of them actually sound like they know what they're talking about, but you actually sound smart and like you know what you're talking about. I'd love for you to show, share with this information with me every time. Boom. You know how many seeds I planted within the past two months? It's ridiculous. Boom. Why? Let me break this down for you. First of all, I kept it very casual. I added things that, you know, they can tell I'm actually um, being personable with them, right? I talked about Velvet Taco in Texas. You think I'm going to send that to 100 people? No. I talked about how great Texas was. Then, you know, I talked about, um, I gave them value. I gave them value. I talked about financial literacy and how things are like this are not taught in our educational system. When they listen to this stuff, they're going to be like, oh, wow, she's right. Oh, my goodness. Right? None of this says, hey, you know, I'm an investor and I want to know if you know of extra income streams. No. You're giving them a different approach that they've never heard of before. You're adding value and you're educating them. Oops. Okay? Now, something you could also add is... I definitely wouldn't want you to live with the pain of regret that you never reached out or that I never tried to put you on. For your story viewers, this is gonna work because they're watching your stories continuously that they haven't reached out for a reason. So once you hit them with this, they're gonna be like, damn, she's right. You know what, let me actually you know, give her my time of day. Yes, this is a voice note because you're reaching out to your viewers that are watching your stories. Unless you know them personally, of course, you can give them a phone call, you can reach out to them through text. But this is for your story viewers, okay? I'll, I'll talk about another script um, for, for someone that hasn't been watching your stories. Okay, now this is for prospecting in general through social media apps, okay? I'll be honest with you guys, I consider Tinder, BLK, Cheesepa, Bumble, I consider all of those social media apps. At the end of the day, someone on Tinder could be someone on Instagram. At the end of the day, someone on Tinder, Tinder could need this opportunity. They could need money, it doesn't matter. I don't care what app it is, anybody on Tinder, BLK, Cheesepa, they need to know about this, okay? They probably bored on Tinder. They might wanna know how to make some money, okay? All right, so all of these apps are considered prospecting social media apps, okay? Now, if you are someone, let me make this disclaimer real quick. If you're someone who's uncomfortable, you're judging the fact that people are using Tinder and all these apps, don't do it. No one's forcing you to. That's fine, okay? But for those of you all who understand, you know, what the goal is, boom. No one is exchanging any favors for this. It's fine, okay? All right, so 
Taking advantage of social media platforms. For dating apps, specify in your bio that you are there seeking friendships and business partners, okay? Sorry, I had a reason. So, especially on dating apps, hey, my name is Raquel, I love to have fun, I'm seeking French friendships and business partners. This is my Instagram, okay? Nine times out of 10, they're gonna go ahead and find you on Instagram anyways, okay? You're probably not gonna be able to match with everybody on Tinder, BLK, Cheese Spot, whatever. They might find you on Instagram, okay? Now, when you reach out to them, because on these apps, some of these apps, you can't send voice memos, you simply want to spark, hey, how are you? Where are you located? Cut to the chase. Sometimes I've heard of people saying, oh, Brad, you know, I sat there and entertained them and they asked me for all this crazy stuff. Why are you doing that? The whole goal is just ask them, hey, where are you located? You're, you're getting straight to the point, okay? If they seem creepy, if whatever, okay, boom. Don't talk to them, all right? Some of y'all just do the most. All right, cool. When they respond and say, hey, I'm from Washington, D.C., Oh, cool. I'm actually an investor and I teach people about financial literacy and digital assets. I'm actually trying to expand in your area. If you have 10 minutes of free time, would you be down to check it out and give me your opinion on how you think it would do there since you're actually from there? Literally, just a text. Boom, send it to them. They're going to give you two responses, one out of two responses. They're either going to leave you on red and not respond or they're going to respond and say, hey, sure. That's it. That's it. If they say, hey, sure, awesome. Do you have an Instagram? Awesome, what's your number? If you wanna go ahead and make a text-free number, do so, right? Okay, cool. Now, hey girl, oh, shoot. Time each other to this. <laughs> okay, now I wanna show you guys live examples. Okay, hold on, first of all. Who's ready to hear some live examples that have worked for me? Let me get some um, flames in the chat if you've gotten uh, value so far and you're ready to hear some live examples, okay? Because one thing about me is I'm gonna make sure I practice what I preach and I'm gonna make sure I not just tell you, but I show you and I tell you and I walk the talk. Okay? And that's one thing about me that I'm super confident about. I'm gonna walk the talk, okay? So. I want you guys to pay close attention to my voice memos and how I do this. Um, there are so many varieties, and that's simply because I'm super confident in what I do. This opportunity has been able to change my life, and I, sometimes I get vulnerable with prospects, okay? A lot of times I get vulnerable because understand, just to give you guys some sauce, facts tell, stories sell. I keep it real. Your prospects want to hear about you more than the facts, okay? So when you hear my voice memos, this is real life stuff, okay? So I'm getting vulnerable with my prospects and I'm adding an emotional touch. I talked about emotional intelligence at the very beginning, okay? So go ahead and hear me out, okay? Boom. So we'll start with this one. Uh, let me actually break this down for you guys. I had no idea who this guy was. He clearly followed me. I posted a workout video the other day. He put some hard eye emojis. Ladies, don't get too stuck up. Don't get too bougie. If someone responds to you with hard eyes, that's fine. Thank them for the compliment and go ahead and do your pitch. Okay? I didn't sit there and say, thanks, baby boy. What's your name? No. I got straight to the point. Okay? That's how I am. All right? We're business owners. Okay? So you can't turn anyone down unless they're being extra creepy. Okay? So you. All right. Y'all ready? Boom. Hey, how are you? My name is Raquel. Thanks for your message. Um, it was a really cool workout. Um, but now that you messaged me, I actually want to kind of tell you a little bit about myself. Um, you know, I'm actually a Hispanic immigrant from El Salvador, but I came to the United States. I was able to retire at the age of 23. I started investing in digital assets and just getting into financial literacy and stuff. And I really feel like everyone deserves to know about, you know, uh, information like this. Uh, school does not teach us how to write a check, how to build credit, you know, how to buy properties or anything like that. And ever since I started, you know, tapping into this realm, I've been able to have a lot of success, help my family. And I know how much it can help people just like you and I. So if you have some time to hear me out, I'd love to connect and talk. Um, if not, no big deal. But I'm sure, you know, it's people that could benefit from information like this. So looking forward to hearing back from you. 
Okay. Now I want you guys to hear his response. Okay, first of all, that was very genuine. I gave him value. I had an intention. Boom, let's go. Now look at his response. Definitely very interesting. Would love to connect with you. Um, yeah, definitely let me know. You know, sometimes it work for you. Um, usually eight to five during the week. Pretty much free on the weekends as well. So we definitely, uh, definitely can connect and definitely speak about it. You know, I'm definitely looking forward to getting to, you know, some opportunities for sure. So definitely looking forward to it. Okay, what happened there? And I'm almost done with this training. I know I'm taking forever, but listen. Some of y'all might say, oh, you know, he was trying to slide in the DMs, go smack, all that stuff. Exactly. Shifted the tone. I love that. After I sent in my voice memo, one thing about me is people are going to know I'm a boss lady. I'm not here for games. I'm not here to flirt back with you, nothing. He understood. Oh, dang. He got intimidated by my boss ladiness, right? Oh, okay, damn, she's really about her business. Ladies, that's how you want to come off at. Some of us are too, you know, submissive and soft and, ooh, uh-uh. Let them know. What are you about? Guess what? That's going to that's gonna make them think, oh, dang, she's really about her business. Right, period, that's it, okay? All right, bet. Now he knows, okay, I'm not here for the games. All right, cool. Now, next one. Now this girl, she, um, I saw in her bio, she was from Honduras, okay? So I took advantage of that, relatability, that's my neighbor country, I'm from El Salvador, okay? All right, cool. But, Hey girl, how are you? My name is Raquel. I know we don't know each other, but I see you've been watching my stories. It's amazing. I see you're also from Honduras. I'm actually from El Salvador. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Um, I've been trying to put my friends onto what I've been doing for the past three years. Been able to change my life completely. I know people from just like us, you know, our community, people that come from similar backgrounds. I actually came to the United States from El Salvador when I was really young. And I've been able to help my family a lot through what it is that I'm doing. And I really am just trying to expose you uh, let me know if you have 10 minutes to check it out. If not, no big deal. But, you know, just think about financial literacy and how we're not really taught about this stuff in school. You know, school doesn't even teach us how to build credit, write a check, um, how to acquire multiple streams of income. So I know how much it can help people just like you and I and our families. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you have some time to check it out. If not, no big deal. But I definitely wouldn't want you to live with the regret of not having asked me or um, that I never tried to put you on. So have a good one. Boom. Let me get some booms in the chat, right? Yes, it's the vulnerability. I'm telling you, get vulnerable with the prospect. Don't come off as too big. Don't come off as, you know, condescending. You're not here, you're not bigger than them. You're a person, you, you're relatable. You've been where they're at and you're just trying to lend a helping hand. You're trying to reach back and help them and push them forward with you, right? That's what you're trying to do. So guess what? She responded, hey, yes, I have been, I, I'm assuming she was trying to stay following you for a while now. I would like to know more information about what you do. I was definitely shy to ask or DM you. Okay, so then I said, oh, girl, I'm glad I reached out. I'm doing two live sessions tomorrow, one at 5 p.m. and one at, 8, one at 8 p.m. Which time works for you just to check out how I do this? Gave him two options. I didn't say, yes, girl, when are you free? No, hey, this is my schedule. You need me. Which one works for you? Now, I refer to these as live sessions. Prospects, they don't want to hear prospect call, informational webinar, that's old now. Hey, I'm doing two live sessions. Okay, cool. And guess what? She got on my info call and she responded to me. She said, that was lit. I actually have a friend I want to show this to. She didn't even sign up yet. She was like, I really want you to show my friend. Boom, bam, right? Ah, I'm so excited. Y'all see why I was so hyped about this training? Okay, now I'm gonna give y'all one last example. <laughs> this is an example of literally just taking any and every opportunity to expose. Everybody I run into is gonna know about this. I don't care who you are. So, funny story, this guy created this filter. I don't know how, I'm not even, I didn't even know that it, that was a thing. I don't know how that happens. Whatever, I'm sure people create filters. I don't know how that happens. I guess I used his filter and he was so hype about that. So he said, OMG, thanks for using my filter. This is so nice. He lives all the way in Singapore. Buddy is going to know about my business. It doesn't matter. Buddy is going to get exposed. So I went ahead and exposed Buddy. Hey, 
of course. I'm sorry, I'm just now getting to this. Also, um, I am a young investor, and um, I'm not sure if you've ever learned about, you know, investing in cryptocurrencies, commodities, even NFTs is a new thing. But um, I was able to retire at the age of 23, so I definitely expose a lot of young people to what it is that I do. You know, we're in a digital era. Things that we need now, we are not even taught in school, you know, and school doesn't teach us about investments, multiple streams of income, real estate, none of that. So if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get on a personal call with you. Boom. Yeah, I'm interested. Bet, what's your number? He didn't respond. I went back two days later because I keep track of my prospects, right? And he ended up getting on the informational, right? Boom. That's it, guys. Let me get some spaghetti emojis in the chat if you have gotten some sauce. Like, this is crazy. Y'all see how this is working? I'm too hyped. I'm too excited, right? But guys, that's basically it. If you want something, go and get it. Understand that you can do this anywhere. You can do this from your bed. Would you rather do this 10 times a day from your bed or just walking around cooking breakfast? Or would you rather keep doing what you're doing today, hoping and wishing you would have taken this opportunity seriously? Right? You tell me. You tell me. Because... This is all I do, at least minimum 10 times a day, 10 voice memos, 10 phone calls, whatever it is. I personally have reached out everyone in my contact list, right? I've been, in, I've been around for three, three months, three years and some change. But if you have people on your contact list, reach out to them. If you have an event coming up, hey, what's going on? Um, I know you've asked about this in the past. Yo, we actually have one of our top leaders flying in tomorrow. I need you to come with me. It's totally free. I got you with some tacos. That's it. It's so simple, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop recording this. So for y'all watching the recording, I um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this information.